Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be my November favorites and I don't know if you guys can tell but I am super excited for December. I am like so in the holiday spirit today. I'm like trying to be super Christmassy and yes, I am wearing a toque with little pom-pom ears because this is actually one of my favorites. I got this from H&M and I love it. I don't care if it makes me look like I'm nine years old. I think it's so cute, but it's actually getting really hot so I'm going to take that off. But anyways, this is going to be the first month in a little while, I think where I've had some non-beauty favorites and more lifestyle kind of items that I want to talk about. And I'm actually going to kick this video off with one of those non-beauty favorites, and that is the fact that I was on BuzzFeed this month. So exciting. BuzzFeed actually contacted me back at the end of October, and they asked me if I would be interested in being featured in an article about beauty vloggers with amazing acne coverage skills. Those are their words, not mine. And of course I said yes, I was so excited. So for those of you who may have missed the article, I'm going to have it linked down below. It is all about basically living with acne in your everyday life and how to kind of be more confident in your skin and overcome it. So I definitely want to share that with you guys because I know a lot of you guys have found me through my acne coverage videos and I know a lot of you guys struggle with your skin in the same ways I do and I think it's a really awesome post and I'm like the first person you see right when you scroll down so it was so exciting so thank you BuzzFeed for allowing me that opportunity but anyways back to the beauty favorites the very first thing I want to talk about is the Blotterazzi by Beauty Blender now I already have a whole review video dedicated to this where I talk about how much I like it but this month this has really become like favorite status for me and the reason for that is because for those of you who don't know the end of October beginning of November I was at my vacation house and it's quite a ways away like it's like a six and a half hour road trip roughly and basically I always sleep in the car on the way there and what happened was I fell asleep with my sunglasses on and so I was like leaning back my sunglasses were like resting on my cheeks here and this area is where I get the most oily so when I woke up my makeup had just like melted off in those areas and it just looked so so bad I was like so oily and shiny and so I took my little blotterazzi sponge and I actually used it to blend out my makeup and kind of blot off any excess oil and I kid you not my makeup looked amazing when I was done like I even turned and looked at my mom after and she was like wow how did you do that and so I used this on the way there and on the way back to fix my makeup throughout the car trip and it worked amazing and that's one of the things I love about this not only does it blot away your excess oil but you can also use it to blend out any like makeup that is smudged around or anything like that which is something you cannot do with a blotting sheet so I am in love with this. That experience definitely basically solidified this as a favorite in my beauty routine. I just switched off my overhead light because I felt like it was making the lighting look a little bit weird so sorry for the lighting change. I hope it looks better but the next two products I want to talk about are a lip product combo and aside from today this combo is the only thing I've been wearing on my lips all month long. It's seriously the only lip products I have applied. And the first one I did mention last month but it's Clinique Beige Pop. Perfect, flawless nude. Really, really recommend checking this out if you really struggle to find nudes that look good on you, just like I do. I know I keep mentioning it, but I literally just can't get enough. And then the product that I like to layer over top of it is this Makeup Forever Artist Plexiglass. It's in if I don't drop it. It's in the shade 101. They just look so beautiful together. They're actually quite similar in shade and they just pair so nicely for the perfect light pink nude lip. Now even like a year ago if you told me that I would be into like a glossy light nude lip I would think you were insane but I am really loving this combination. I feel like this is just a favorites video where I'm just talking about products you guys already know I love but whatever. My next favorite is the Smashbox Photo Finish Primer Water, which once again I've talked about so many times before on my channel. If you saw my B.I.B. Rouge haul, you know why I have this tiny size. But basically, I just felt like I was in like a little bit of a makeup rut. My makeup just wasn't looking that good. And I was looking back at pictures from like spring and summer and I was like, my makeup looks so good then. What was I doing different that I'm not doing now? And it was definitely this. I had run out of it for a while and just started using it again and it just looks so good. I use it to set my makeup, not to prime my face. And I've mentioned this so many times before, but it just takes away that powdery finish and makes your makeup look so good and so natural. Next up is just the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer. I'm actually almost out of this, and I don't think I've really talked about this on my channel before, but I've been loving it this month for both under eyes and concealing blemishes when I need to. It's just so fast, so easy to blend, and it doesn't really crease either. My last beauty favorite is the Tarte Blush Palette. Now, I've been debating including this in this video because this is actually the one from last year, but I've been using it a lot this month, and I figured I would include 
include it because they have another blush palette out this year like they always do for the holidays and they're always kind of similar. This is what last year's looked like. My favorite combination especially has been mixing these two shades together. These two on the end. Kind of like a rosy nude kind of blush and I've just been using it to death and I love it. I find the wear time for this is actually even better than my regular Tarte Amazonian and Clay blushes which is surprising. Now moving into the non-beauty favorites. I already mentioned my little toque. My second one is this mug I have behind me here. Now I just finished drinking coffee so I'm sorry if you can see that it's like dirty on the inside but this is from the 2015 Starbucks holiday collection for their mugs and it is so cute. I died when I saw this. It is just white and then it has this like gold foil leopard print on it. It's so so cute and if you don't like this one Starbucks has like a million different holiday mugs this year and they're all adorable so definitely check them out if you haven't already. Next I have a scarf and this scarf is from Ann Taylor Loft which to me is like the most random thing ever probably just because I've never shopped there but I was actually looking for a scarf exactly like this and I spotted this just like walking past the store in the mall and it is this like baby pink kind of like chunkier knit infinity scarf it also has this like really thin kind of like gold thread running through it too I don't know if that'll show up on camera I already posted a video wearing this and you guys are going to be seeing it a lot more because that day I pre-filmed a ton of videos just so cute and so soft I just think it's such a like cute feminine piece for winter totally does not go with what I'm wearing now it looks like I'm like ready to celebrate Valentine's Day or something but it is super cute with other outfits and they actually had a lot of beautiful scarves there so definitely check out Ann Taylor Loft if you are looking for a really cute new scarf for winter. My next favorite is going to seem so weird if you haven't heard about this trend but basically like coloring books for grown-ups and adults have been like a really big thing lately and I am in love with the trend. I have this one here it's called Animal Kingdom and it's by the artist I guess Millie Murata. I found this just at Chapters. They have like a huge selection of them because they're becoming super popular. And it's basically just meant to be like super distressing and it really really is. Like I do it at work when like there's nothing else to do really and not a lot going on. And it's just like so oddly soothing. This one like I said is called Animal Kingdom. So it's all these really beautiful animal designs. This is the page I've kind of done the most on. It's got like a... I was gonna say a unicorn. This is a raccoon. <laughs> it has a raccoon and then a fox on one side and it's just so much fun. It's really time consuming because like some of these are crazy and they're so like small and detailed but it's really fun. My final favorite is something that I treated myself to this month and it is actually a ring from Tiffany's. One of the videos I pre-filmed recently was a Tiffany collection so definitely make sure to stay tuned for that video because I'll have close-ups and everything but it is just a really simple band ring. It's called the Tiffany 1837 narrow ring I believe is actually the name of it and it's just once again like a really simple sterling silver band. It's simple but I really like it. I feel like it's going to be a really good kind of like stacking piece for wearing different rings at the same time and it's just beautiful and I just wanted to kind of treat myself for something to kind of say like congratulations you survived this year. I'm just in love with it. I've been wearing it a ton and it's just so pretty and like simple and classic. But that was actually all of my favorites for the month of November. I hope you guys are as excited for December as I am. I'm so excited for Christmas. As always don't forget to comment down below and let me know what you have been loving for the month of November. Give this video a thumbs up too if you enjoyed it and as always don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already because I really really appreciate it and I will talk to all of you in my next video. Bye guys! Bye.